Hello everyone! Your girl is back with a brand new tutorial for you. As you can tell, it's going to be this look. Um, I had fun making it actually. When I put the blue in my eyelid, I was like, wow, what is this? This is so pigmented. I am so in love with it. I tried my best to make it look good. I have never gone this crazy, let's say crazy, on a makeup tutorial, honestly. And I'm very proud of myself because working with black eyeshadow is not easy. And I somehow made it work. I'm hoping you like it. This is just like a review of the Urban Decay Wen Stephanie palette and I just love it. I'm very glad I purchased it. Let's just get started with this video. Bye guys! So first we're going to start with the Too Faced Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer and we're going to put this all over our lid so our eyeshadow doesn't move. By the way, this is my first voiceover so don't mind my mistakes. Then we're going to move on with Anaheim shade in the palette. Wow, okay. And we'll put this all over our crease. This will be our transition to make everything blend well. Then we'll go move on to zone and we'll make a small V shape just to deepen up that crease and yeah then we'll move on into blackout and just make a C shape and make sure you take your time this is like eyeshadow and it's really hard to play with so don't stress and just take your time just take your time then we'll go and move on with danger this color is very pigmented, but I recommend you spray it with water or something so it can be twice as pigmented as it already is. It, I don't know, it's better results, I don't know. Then I'm here just doing my eyebrows with the Anastasia Pomade in Ebony, Ebony shade. And yeah, just the usual routine because as you can see my eyebrows are very very thin and you know life happens now here I'm just filling it in with black eyeshadow because why not then we're going to move on into the Too Faced Hangover face primer and just this is to make sure our face looks flawless with the foundation then I'm gonna take the Dream Mad Mouse and place this all over my face. This is like the best foundation. Like I just love Maybelline foundations. I don't know why. They're so good. Like I don't know. It's just perfect. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner with the Master Precise Studio by the Studio Eye in Maybelline. Maybe, wow. Okay. Anyways. So I don't know if you can tell, but the eyeliner is ugly, it's so shaped, it's so messy, it's just, no, no. Then I'm just doing my mask, um, my eyelashes, and here I'm using my favorite highlight from Becca. This just, can we just appreciate this moment? Look at that shine, like, look at that. It's just perfect. I love it. I just I love it. I'm in love. Then we're just moving on into the Victoria's Secret lip gloss in shade. I believe this is Love It. And it's just very pinkish natural. I like it. So this tutorial I very much hope that you enjoy it because I did and just um, if you were wondering I know that using eyeliner and mascara is not much of a difference but for me it is 
I feel like the mascara gives volume to my eyes and makes them, I don't know, pop a little bit more. Even though these are dark eyeshadows, it still looks beautiful. And the eyeliner still, you can tell I have eyeliner on. So, yeah. And you can go all out. You can put like red lips, whatever lip colors you want. I just decided to keep it simple because my eyes are very dramatic and I just wanted to keep the attention on them and not on my lips or somewhere else. So I didn't contour either, I, sh I, I was going to but I decided not to, so just let me know if you like this, make sure you like this video by thumbing it up and subscribe to me and yeah, I'll see you in my next video, bye!